Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is Foundation Friday. If you're new to my channel, I review foundations every Friday and I put them to the test on my very oily skin. Today's foundation is a foundation that's been long overdue for me to review, which is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. The main reason I wanted to try this foundation is because it is in collaboration with Jackie Ina, who is my personal favorite YouTuber. If you guys don't follow her, you're missing out. But this foundation was already in existence and then she hopped on board and actually extended their shade range. So now they have 35 shades and she added nine different new hues and undertones. I have a lot of respect for Jackie Ina because she is someone who really uses her platform and her voice to increase inclusivity in the makeup and beauty world. And a lot of foundations end at the color cocoa being their darkest foundation. So she extended the darker shade range to be more inclusive to different skin tones. And I respect that. So that's the main reason I wanted to try this foundation, but it still took me so long to get it. But I did, I got it at Sephora inside JCPenney, and this is the packaging right here. So the whole story behind Born This Way is that they want this foundation to make it feel like you woke up like this. Just a natural, undetectable, foundation like no one would even know you have on foundation because it's that natural. Some of the claims include that it is infused with coconut water to help replenish skin's moisture levels. It has alpine rose that helps brighten and boost skin's radiance and it has hyaluronic acid for a smoother more youthful appearance. It's an oil-free foundation that's supposed to diffuse the line between makeup and skin, it's supposed to blur imperfections, make skin look absolutely perfect and feel natural. Now this would be considered a high-end foundation sold at Ulta, Sephora, Nordstrom's, Macy's, all the bougie places, and it is $39. So it's not a cheap foundation, you know, we're, we're pushing on $40. So I really hope that this is worth the money. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this foundation to my skin. Alrighty, humble beginnings. I'm going to start with the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. This has kind of been my go-to lately. Not even really a fan of the consistency, but I think it's doing the job of keeping me matte. And that's all that matters. Now let's grab the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. This is their undetectable medium to full coverage foundation, oil free in the color Warm Sand. Gonna shake it up. It does have a pump and it is 1.0 fluid ounces, just like pretty much every other foundation. Pretty liquidy consistency. Let's check this coverage. I think the color works really well. And it's getting some good coverage. So I think this foundation might be coming off a little bit more yellow. My skin's looking a little like red or pink in comparison to it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm also using a beauty sponge by Dose of Colors. So there's the foundation thus far all on its own. It's definitely a more liquid consistency, not really creamy at all. The coverage was really good after just one pump. I do agree with the medium to full coverage. I think it covered up my acne scars just fine. And I also think the color worked out. So it is currently 3.30 p.m. Let me go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Much better. So now I have my full face on. And as of right now, I do think it looks nice. You know, it always looks good in the beginning. But the real test is to see how long it lasts on my oily skin. Looking at it right now, I'm enjoying the coverage. I like the color. But I'm not extremely mad. I'm already getting a little bit of shine just after finishing my face and my hair. So I'm a little about how this is going to turn out, but it's supposed to be undetectable, and does it claim to last for any amount of hours? No, but it does say a luminous finish, so it's not even really claiming to be matte, so I'm a strong believer of don't get mad at a product for not doing something that it's not claiming to do. So I might end up with a luminous finish instead of a matte finish, but let's see how illuminating I am in a couple hours. And I'm back. It is now 11 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for almost eight hours, about seven and a half hours. 
and this is where we're at. So, definitely have some shine. It's not that bad for a foundation that's not claiming to be matte, but let's see if we can fix it. So now I'm gonna grab my oil absorbing sheets. These are from CVS, and these just help suck up all the oil. Let's do this. All right, so here is all the oil that came off my skin. It is a good amount, and there's definitely a lot of transfer on here. A lot of the makeup actually came off, as you can see from the brown on here. But looking at it now, it does look really good. Back to my matte finish. So overall, I would say that this foundation is really good. I like the coverage that it gives. I like the color. But I did feel like I was getting a little shiny too quickly. But once again, this is not a matte foundation. So I think this would be even better on normal or dry skin. If you have normal or dry skin or oily skin and you've tried this foundation, please leave a comment down below and let us know how it works for you and your skin. Because I just recently tried the Too Faced Peach Perfect Matte Foundation, I'm gonna have to say that this one is better for oily skin. But hey, I mean, that's what it's claiming. It's always so important to read what the products are claiming to do. So if you want a matte finish, I'd go with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. Like this one, watch my last video. It keeps you so matte. But if you like more of the dewy, luminous finish or you have very dry skin, you probably would like the Born This Way Foundation better. So buy accordingly. Overall, I think it's a good foundation. It just didn't like really jump out at me, especially after just trying the other Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. And for $40, I need you to be just as amazing as the Peach Perfect. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee, so you get daily updates in my IG story every day. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.